ओके लेट अस सिट कंफर्टेबली सुकासना पद्मासना अर्थ पद्मासना विच एवर इज कंफर्टेबल फॉर यू रोल योर शोल्डर्स मेक योर स्पाइन एरेक्ट palms open to the ceiling eyes closed take a deep breath in and breathe out slowly take few more deep breaths inhale the vital energy and exhale all your worries away make the inhalations deeper and the exhalations slower take one more long deep breath in and breathe out slowly and completely Now let us chant Om three times, bringing your fingers to chin mudra. Breathe in for Om. 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 Will we join the arms together? Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bhunyatu. सहवीयम करवावहेतीजस्विनावदीतमस्तुमाविशाहेओंचांतिशांतिशांतिकीलोलिरबिपांस Up it on your eyes and looking through the gaps of the fingers. Open your eyes with a beautiful smile. Sit comfortably in Siddhasana. Today we are working on Vishuddhi Chakra, that is the throat chakra. So the pranayama corresponding to throat chakra or the throat is Ujjayi pranayama. Okay, it is Ujjayi pranayama. So contract your epiglottis and breathe in. Yeah. Uh, Shushila, you know Ujjayi Pranayama, right? Or I'll just explain briefly. So, for getting Ujjayi Pranayama correct, what we need to do is we need to contract our epiglottis and breathe in. So, how to contract the epiglottis? How to know which portion we have to contract? What we need to do is first we need to start with <coughs> doing the <this> sound. <coughs> <coughs> When you are doing the sound, you will see which location gets called gets movement. <coughs> okay, that is the epiglottis movement. Okay, so now we need to con consciously contract the epiglottis and breathe in. So for that, first we need to try with open slightly open mouth. Open your mouth and breathe in deeply. that time also you will feel which portion gets contracted open your mouth for breathing in breathing out do that now you try the same thing with closed mouth yes got it 
Yes. So when the, whenever we are doing this, automatically there will be a hissing sound additionally added. That will be representing or it will be similar to the ocean wave sound. That is why this pranayama is also called as ocean breathing pranayama. Okay. So today we will be concentrating only on the throat and just breathe in, breathe out. Okay. Just do the inhalation, try to do the inhalation for the count of eight and exhalation for the count of 12. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Try to do it on your own for the next three minutes. And tell me how many number of breaths you are taking. Three minutes, how many number of breaths? You are not going to hold the breath, just breathe in, breathe out. Ma'am? Yes? Ma'am, again you repeat it. I told her. It's, uh, I mean, completely or only the counter? No, how we are going to do breathe. Okay, okay. Oh, you don't know Jai? Okay. So how to do Jai Pranema? First, you need to identify which portion you are going to contract. So you, what you have to do is first make a sound. Whenever you are making such a sound, which portion is getting... Uh, Movement inside the throat. Here, here. Yes. Yes. Uh, ball, ball. Yes. Now, that portion you have to contract consciously. How will you do that? There is easy way is just open your mouth a little and breathe in. Are you able to feel which portion is getting contracted now? Yes, ma'am. If you are not, I will share one more video. In that, what they are mentioning is, put your tongue to the upper palate. Put your tongue to the upper palate. Then try to breathe. This portion will get contracted. Put your tongue to the upper palate and breathe. Now, now, now you are able to get okay super good now you close the mouth and do the same if you want you can put the tongue to the upper palate close the mouth but do that yeah yes okay super good okay super good Okay, okay. So let us do now. Let us do the breathing for two minutes. Count the number of breaths. So when you are breathing out, tell me how many number of breaths you took in two minutes. Four, Varsha, good. 
Six. Okay, six is right. Yes. Five. Yes, five. Super. Nice. Okay, what we are doing here is inhaling for a count of eight and exhaling for a count of 12. That is a minimum. You can increase also. You, you can increase the exhalation time also. So when you are doing it, automatically 8 plus 12, 20 is one number of breath. Inhale plus exhale is one number of breath. When you are doing that inhale plus exhale, so for 20 seconds, you are doing one breath. And in a minute, you will be doing only three breaths. Okay? And so in two minutes, more less than six is very good number. It means that you are working on it. It means that your pranayama is effective, more effective. Yeah? We can also keep the, increase the number and keep practicing this. This will increase the lung capacity to the full. Okay? And um, did anyone count the number of breaths normally you make in one minute? I gave one assignment. Some three, four days back when we did Ujjayi. Number of breaths in one minute. Normal, normal breathing. Anyone counted? No? No one counted? So today you are going to count. Varsha counted? No, I did 40 in like five minutes. Does it count? 40 in five minutes. So eight breaths in one minute. Okay. So that your normal breathing is eight breaths in one minute. Okay. So that is what we need to reduce the number of breaths in one minute. That is how we keep practicing. When we are keeping on practicing, automatically it happens. Okay. So today you do the counting for one minute, how many number of breaths you are taking. One breath is inhale plus exhale. Okay. So tomorrow you tell me. Okay, so today since we are working on Vishuddhi Chakra, the throat chakra, we will we have to concentrate more and more of our, of our neck movements. So let us start with the neck. So breathing, neck up, look up, breathe out, bring your chin to the collarbone. Breathing, neck up, look up. Breathe out, bring your chin to the collarbone. Do it slowly. Any neck movement should be slow. Breathe in, neck up, look up. Breathe out, bring your chin to the collarbone. Now breathe in to the center. We'll do side to side movement. Breathe in, center. Breathe out, turn to the right. Breathe in center, breathe out left. Breathe in center, breathe out right. Breathe in center, breathe out left. Then come back to center. Now take your right ear to the right shoulder with the support of the hand. Feel the nice stretch on the left side. Then slowly come back to center. To the left. Left ear to the left shoulder. Then slowly come back to center. Now we we'll do semicircle movements. Bring your chin to the collarbone and then slowly rotate and look towards your right. Then slowly while coming back, bring your chin to the collarbone. Then when you're going to the left, go and look towards your left. We are, we are doing a semicircle movement. So come down and go to the right. Then come down, go to the left. Come down, go to the right, come down, go to the left. Chin to the collarbone, then go to the right, chin to the collarbone, go to the left. Then slowly come back to center and relax. 
Now we will start with our body warm up. So interlace your fingers, take your fingers back, take your fingers back, spine straight and do side to side movements. Side to side movement. Do side to side movement. Try to look forward and do it. Uh, your spine should be straight so that you will feel a nice stretch in the shoulder blades. Then come back to center. Release your hands. Now we we'll do torso rotation for our body. Bringing your hands on your thighs towards the knees. Bend forward. And do the rotation towards the right. Then go back. Go to the left. And come down. One more time. Go to the right. Back. Left. And down. Go to the right. Back. Left. And down. Reverse. Go to the left. Back, right, and down. Go to the left, back, right, and down. One last time. Go to the left, back, right, and down. Then slowly come back to center. Slowly come back to center. Now from here, taking your leg forward. Keeping your hands behind, just do movements, side to side movements. If you are able to take your legs a little more wider and bring your knee to the knee to the feet, knee to the other leg feet. Then come back to center. Do the do it on the other side also. Knee to the ankle or the feet to the other side. These are for the hip mobility. These are for the hip mobility. You will be moving forward, down. Then come back to center. Come back. Now from here, keeping your legs little wide apart. From here, let us come. To, let us come to Malasana. Let us come to Malasana. Now keep your right hand on the left ankle. Raise your left hand up. Then come back. Left to the right ankle, to the left. Do it alternately. Right hand to the left ankle. Left hand to the right ankle. Right hand to the left ankle. Left hand to the right ankle. Then come back to center. Now keep your hands on the floor. We will do some movement. You are going to, what you are going to do? You are going to stretch your one leg. Stretch your one leg to one side, come back and stretch the other leg to the other side. Okay? Yes? Yes, take support of your hand and do it. If suppose you are able to do without the support of the hand, also you can try. Yeah, super. Super, Divya. Yes. Wow. Super, Divya. Divya and Murli doing nicely. Without the support of the Oh, Varsha also. Super. Nice. Yes. Yes. Super. Yes. Stretch and come back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Mm, good. Okay. Then come back to center. Now from here, stretching your hands forward. Slowly raise up. Slowly raise up. Slowly raise up. Keep your hands on your knees. Keep your hands on your knees and do the rotation for the knees. One, two, three, four, five, six. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then slowly raise up. Now what we'll do? Take keep a little gap between the legs. Keep your hands interlacing your fingers or keep your hands free. Now what you're going to do, you're going to stretch your one leg to one side, left. Stretch your hand up. So your hand and leg will be in one straight line. Okay, then come back. 
go to the other side stretch your hand to the above your leg and hand will be in one straight line slanted we'll do the same 10 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 then slowly come back to center now we will do some squatting so interlacing your fingers go down squat a little and come up when you are squatting take your one leg back then come back to center squat take your one leg back squat then come back squat to the left come back to the center Squat to the right, come back to center. Squat to the left, come back to center. Squat to the right, come back to center. Now bring your hands on your hip. We'll do the hip rotation. Rotate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. Okay, yeah, time is running. Okay, shall we do 12? 12 or shall we do nine today? Nine sets of Surya Namaskar. Yes, today nine sets of Surya Namaskar. Let us do. Okay. Shall we do with mantras or shall we do the normal one? Anything is okay? Mantras, madam. Mantras. Oh, super. <laughs> so many are fan of mantras. Okay. Okay. I will share the audio now. Om Mitraya Namaha Om Radhaye Namaha Om Suryaya Namaha Om Kanve Namaha Om Kagaya Namaha Om Bhushne Namaha Om Hiranyagarbhaya Namaha Om Marichaya Namaha Om Adityaya Namaha Om Savitre Namaha Om Hiranyagarbhaya Namaha Om Mani 
विजय नम ओम आदित्याय नम ओम सवित्रे नम ओम अर्काय नम ओम भास्कराय नम ओम श्री सवित्र सूर्य नारायणाय नम ओम मित्राय नम ओम रवये नम ओम सूर्याय नम ओम भानवे नम ओम खगाय नम ओम पूष्णे नम ओम हिरण्यगर्भाय नम ओम मरीचय नम ओम आदित्याय नम ओम सवित्रे नम ओम अर्काय नम ओम भास्कराय नम ओम श्री सवित्र सूर्य नारायणाय नम ओम मित्राय नम ओम रवये नम ओम सूर्याय नम ओम भानवे नम ओम खगाय नम ओम पूष्णे नम ओम हिरण्यगर्भाय नम ओम मरीचय नम ओम आदित्याय नम ओम सवित्रे नम ओम अर्काय नम ओम भास्कराय नम ओम श्री सवित्र सूर्य नारायणाय नम ओम मित्राय नम ओम रवये नम ओम सूर्याय नम ओम भानवे नम ओम खगाय नम ओम पूष्णे नम ओम हिरण्यगर्भाय नम ओम मरीचय नम ओम आदित्याय नम ओम सवित्रे नम ओम अर्काय नम ओम भास्कराय नम ओम श्री सवित्र सूर्य नारायणाय नम ओम मित्राय नम ओम रवये नम ओम सूर्याय नम ओम भानवे नम ओम खगाय नम ओम पूष्णे नम ओम हिरण्यगर्भाय नम ओम मरीचय नम ओम आदित्याय नम ओम सवित्रे नम ओम अर्काय नम ओम भास्कराय नम ओम श्री सवित्र सूर्य नारायणाय नम ओम मित्राय नम ओम रवये नम ओम सूर्याय नम ओम भानवे नम ओम खगाय नम ओम पूष्णे नम ओम हिरण्यगर्भाय नम ओम मरीचय नम ओम आदित्याय नम ओम सवित्रे नम ओम अर्काय नम ओम भास्कराय नम ओम श्री सवित्र सूर्य नारायणाय नम ओम मित्राय नम ओम रवये नम ओम सूर्याय नम ओम भानवे नम ओम खगाय नम ओम पूष्णे नम ओम हिरण्यगर्भाय नम ओम मरीचय नम ओम आदित्याय नम ओम सवित्रे नम ओम अर्काय नम ओम भास्कराय नम ओम श्री सवित्र सूर्य नारायणाय नम ओम मित्राय नम ओम रवये नम ओम सूर्याय नम ओम भानवे नम ओम खगाय नम 
ಸಾಧಕಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಭೂಷ್ಣೇ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಹಿರಣ್ಯಗರ್ಭಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಮರಿಚೇ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಆದಿತ್ಯಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಸವಿತ್ರೇ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಅರಿಕಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಭಾಸ್ಕರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸವಿತ್ರ ಸೂರ್ಯನಾರಾಯಣಾಯ ನಮಃ it sip of water if you want don't gulp water just take sip of water so today we are going to work on vishuddhi chakra so for vishuddhi chakra scientifically the name is called as cervical plexus cervical plexus and it has and it has some 12 nerve connections 12 uh, sorry 16 nerve connections these are the connections from the base of the spine it is going through the spinal cord to the brain right so these are this has a maximum and uh, uh, 16 it represents earlier yog yogis have known already without the signs also they have known and they, they have given it as 16 petals 16 petals for the lotus okay 16 petals for the lotus and the color is blue in color actual solar actual all the plexus physically it will be gray in color because all the nerves are in gray in color but they have represented it as blue in color okay so imagine a blue lotus with 16 petals okay and these the terminal the terminal connections are where and all it is going first main thing is the thyroid gland which is exactly located here thyroid gland and of course it goes through all the it goes through the the nervous nervous system goes through all the throat the body it goes through the lungs respiratory system arms up also and all the glands here the main gland here is the thyroid gland okay so anybody is having any thyroid disturbances either hypothyroid or hypothyroid they have to work on this particular chakra more on this particular chakra more okay and how do we activate this chakra physically is we do the neck movements more the neck movement should be more but neck movement we should not do anything fast we should do it with care okay and uh, uh, the chakra what does it uh, represent i mean what does it deal with and what does it uh, and it is blocked by dash expression yeah. and confidence confidence no it deals with truth blocked by lies yes blocked by lies it is the truth we try to express ourselves when we are dress when we are when we are very confident or where we are expressing the truth we will be doing it beautifully without any inhibition if suppose we are telling a lies to ourselves also we will not be able to express okay so this deals with truth and block by lies okay so we will do few asanas few are very very particular to this particular chakra okay that is the throat chakra but all the neck movements which were we are all the asanas which have neck movements or neck extension or contraction these also work on this chakra it is not that one asana is exclusively for one exclusively for activating one chakra all the asanas have the features to activate more number of chakras not just particularly one chakra okay so for but for this there are two special chakras okay what are those first one let us do it is called as simha gajasana so first we will sit in vajrasana we will sit in vajrasana and take gap between the legs sit in vajrasana and take gap between the legs okay 
sit in Vajrasana, take gap between the legs and bring your hands below your legs, below your legs. Okay, below your legs. Palms are facing downwards, you are sitting like this. Okay, now you are going to breathe in and breathing out, you are going to roar like a lion. Breathe in. Your throat should get fully activated. Vocal cord also has to work, not just uh, epiglot. Breathe in. Your throat should get completely activated. Roar like a lion. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. Okay. Yes. Roll like a lion nicely. Yes. Throat is paining. <laughs> so this this uh, this is a therapeutic asana or therapeutic asana for whoever is having thyroid issues. Okay. Then there is one more special asana. It is called a Sarvang asana. It is a little bit tougher initially, but you can just watch. Varsha is <laughs> jumping with joy. I think I can show you as a demonstration, I guess. Okay? So let me demonstrate. Let uh, Varsha only demonstrate. I'll just show. But first, can you show it close to the wall? First, can you show it close to the wall? Yeah. Yeah. Let the gap between be there. Little more, you should go. So, the little more. But it should touch the... Yes. It's, she's just demonstrating. You can just watch. Go close to the wall. Pull your mat close to the wall. Okay. Be careful. Yes. Bring your buttocks close to the wall and take your legs up like how we do in Uttana Padasana. Okay? Now keep your hands by the side of the body. Keep, keep your hands by the side of the body. And now bend your leg. Bend your leg. Bend your leg and take support of the wall and lift your hip off the mat. Yes. Now your hip and your hip and your Neck, whole body should come in one straight line. Yes, yes. Once you are able to bring your complete body about. Okay. Yes, this is called a Sarvangasana. Suppose, slowly, slowly come down. While coming down also, you have to come slowly. Take support. Take support. Take support. Then slowly come down. Slowly bring your upper body down. Yes, this is how we have to come down slowly. Okay? Yeah? I saw Sushila's son doing it. Yeah? Did you do it? Sarvangasana? Do it again. Let me see you. Yeah. Easily he is lifting his, uh, this thing up. Okay? What we need? Yeah. Super. What is your name, baby? My name is Kamal Sivan. Tamil Selvan. Which class are you studying? Third B. Third B. Okay. Competition for Rishi. Third standard. Okay. We will see both when they both come. <laughs> so now let us let us practice with wall first before we go to the before. Yeah. Oh, Murli also doing it huh? already. Okay. Good. Okay. Super. Yes. Super. Yes. That's it. Whenever you are in this asana, you are not going to move your neck here and there. Okay? Yeah. Try to bring your legs. So, hey, you should not come very fast down like this. You have to take, yeah, you have to take control of your body completely and then slowly come down. Then slowly come down. Yes. Now, try to bring your legs straight. Legs straight. Yes. Super. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Super. This is his Sarvangasana. Yes, yes. You can also do the modification like uh, how uh, Suja is doing, taking your one leg support and uh, lifting the other leg. Okay, you can try this. 
you can try this see to that you are not moving your neck here and there when you are in that particular asana yes preeti is also doing so this works on our throat chakra mainly well while coming down you have to come slowly while coming down you have to come slowly be careful baby you should uh, mummy you are helping but <laughs> uh, she has to practice <laughs> uh, little bit first you start with uttanasana okay so what we need to do actually without wall support is lying down on the mat keeping your hands by the side of the body lift your leg up to 90 degrees first okay lift your leg up to 90 degrees first then bend your leg and go little more little more towards your head if you are able to do it without lifting your now what you can do you can lift your hip off the mat lift your hip with your hand support and try to straighten up with the elbow keep straightening up and give the elbows give the hand support to the lower back like this give a hand support to the lower back and once you are here keep straightening your legs and mainly look at your toes look at your toes and stay here take the hand support it is okay if you are not able to bring your leg straight you can also stay here and you can also try to bring your leg little more down 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 also okay either way is fine all these work on our on our throat chakra okay whenever you are doing this your circulatory energy is flowing from the legs towards the heart okay and towards the throat the throat chakra is completely activated and the thyroid gland is activated now when you are coming down slowly bring your legs towards the head and slowly bring your upper body slowly bring your upper body down slowly bring your upper body down straighten up your legs bring your hands down and then slowly bring your leg down you should have control complete body control over you should have the complete body control yes super halasana varsha you are able to go up to the plow pose yes yes this is called as halasana plow pose bringing your legs to the above your head this is called as plow pose okay this is also very good now while coming back also big uh, yes come slowly come slowly slowly come and then slowly take control take controlled movement bring your body down straighten up your leg take support of your hand and then slowly bring your leg down super super this is how you have to practice this asana okay so initially we can do it with the support of the wall okay and now what happens our throat is contracted like this the throat is contracted like this okay and our whole circulatory energy goes to the thyroid gland thyroid gland so it activates our thyroid gland but since we have put our chin to the collarbone and locked it so much we need to do the counter pose also so what is the counter pose we need to do yesterday's fish pose so lying down on the mat we are extending our neck here lying down on the mat come on your elbows come on your elbows push your hip little up chest up chest up neck downward head crown to the mat crown to the mat try to bring your crown to the mat fish pose how the pose for sarvangasana fish pose and stay here for a couple of seconds extend your throat get extended here your throat get extended here then slowly raise up and relax lie down relax and lie down okay so these two asanas or these two asanas are very good for our activating our thyroid gland or the vishuddhi chakra okay yeah and if suppose you had stayed for a long time above you can also do the like what what varsha is doing she she does the spinal stretches also 
left to right, you do the spinal stretches if you feel any strain in the lower back. Okay? Yes, she's doing the Marakatasana stretch, keeping your one leg over the other and interlocking at your shin and move from side to side. Move from side to side. Okay, this is called as Marakatasana stretch. It works on our spine. It works on our spine. It is one of the spinal stretches. Yes, super. Super. And relax. And relax. So there are a few more asanas which are which work on our means early. I mean, if suppose we are not able to do Sarvangasana, the easiest one which we can do is the Setu Pandasana, which we normally do. Okay. In Setu Pandasana, you lie down on your back and keep lifting your hip off the, off the float. And here you should work on your on pushing your chest towards the chin. So this also works on our Vishuddhi Chakra, Setu Pandasana. This also works on our Chakra. Yes. Setu Bandhasana. Setu Bandhasana. Stay here for a couple of seconds. And then slowly bring your hip down. Then the counter pose for this or we need to extend our neck, right? So come to Adomukha. Bring your elbows down. Interlace your fingers. Come like how you are doing in dolphin pose. You just look forward. Look forward. Look forward. Try to look forward. Dolphin pose, look forward. This also, whenever you are putting a strain on the neck, it looks, it works on your body. Yes, this also works on our throat chakra. Yes. So from here, drop your knees and go to child pose. Drop your knees and go to child pose. Relax in child pose. Relax in child pose. Now let us work on, well, let us do a small meditation with hum. The beach mantra for this throat chakra is hum. Okay, hum. We will work, we will do a small meditation. We will tell nine times om hum, om hum. You should also, it is not just you're going to listen, you should also tell it along with me. Yeah, om hum. That will work on our throat chakra. Okay, we'll do a meditation instead of relaxation. So sit comfortably either in Siddhasana or Padmasana, whichever is comfortable for you, whichever is comfortable for you, palms open to the ceiling, palms open to the ceiling, you can keep your hands in chin mudra, chin mudra is a special mudra in which the thumb represents the universal consciousness and the uh, index finger represents our individual consciousness. When you are touching the tip of the thumb with the tip of the index finger, it means that our energy flow is towards the universal consciousness. There is a connection made between the universal consciousness and the individual consciousness. That is why this mudra is a little famous for work, uh, or doing our meditation. So keeping your hands in chin mudra over your thighs. Now take Close your eyes, take a deep breath in and breathe out slowly. Take one more deep breath in and breathe out slowly. Imagine a blue ball of light at the throat center. It's glowing in blue. Now let us chant the beach mantra. Oh. Oh. 
Tell to yourself, I speak from my heart, I speak from my heart, I express myself honestly. I am hurt by others. Tell to yourself one more time. I speak from my heart. I express myself honestly and authentically. And I am hurt by others. Let us tell the same one more time. I speak from my heart. I express myself honestly and authentically. And I am hurt by others. Now just stay in silence for a few more seconds. Do normal breathing. Relax all your efforts. Take your attention to the surroundings. Become aware of your surroundings. You can start making movements. Start making movements in your hands, fingers, legs also. You can start moving, relaxing. Now slowly bringing your palms together. Now let us continue and bless this whole world. Let us pray for this whole world. 
bringing your palms together. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Ma Kashin Dukha Bhagbave Om Shanti 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 Slowly rub your palms, gently heat. Up it on your eyes and face. Feel the warmth, feel the energy. Now slowly looking through the gaps of the fingers, open your eyes with a beautiful smile. Have a beautiful day and 